sorrow. I'm a friend of sorrow, but it will be over. Joy will come at last. a risen savior today amen he's not in the grave but he arose from the victor amen he arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives in our soul today amen forever to reign praise the name of jesus we thank god that he's alive and well amen we thank god that we're serving a risen savior praise the name of jesus amen we thank him that he's all powerful amen that the grave could not keep him captive amen and we thank god that he lives in our soul today Amen. We're going to continue by reading our Psalm, Psalm 120, 134. When you find it, please stand in reverence to God's holy word. Psalm 120 to 134 in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'll praise him whenever I can. I'll praise him for his love surrounds me like the sea. I'll praise the name.
of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. The love surround me like a sea. We praise the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why we're here tonight. Amen. That's a lift up the name of Jesus. For the name of Jesus lifted us. Amen. We was in our bondage, in our sin. Amen. When we didn't know where to turn for help. His love came and he lifted us. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's why we're here tonight. Amen. All members in one body. Amen. Just to come to exalt his wonderful name. Just to come to magnify him. Just to come to lift him up. Amen. Because he alone is worthy of all the praise. He alone is worthy of all the glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank God. Amen. When you love me, say you you care about my power. Check when you say that to me. Yes, sir. When you say that to me, I will stop. I will stop. When the next thing now, I will stand to me. I will not be here. I will bring you one of the ideas. Then, then, I will see you stand to me. You will not. Amen, amen, amen. Praise him. Jesus for where he has brought us out of and we thank God that there's power in his name amen because you use the name of Jesus even though you wasn't saved you use the name of Jesus and he delivers praise the name of Jesus we thank God that he's not partial amen we thank God that he look after the saved and the unsaved amen that's why he's, a, he's such as a righteous God amen we're gonna sing Jesus is my deliverer for I know he delivers me Jesus is my deliverer Jesus is my 
Because you are delivered us, we're going to have a short exhortation from Sister Kia. Short exhortation, Sister Kia. Praise the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. Amen. How do we know we deliver us? Amen. We all have our personal experience. Amen. We all have our personal testimony. Amen. Of where we were when we called on the name of the Lord. Amen. Some of us was in sorrow. Amen. Some of us was in grief. Amen. Some of us was being battered and bruised by the devil. Amen. Left, right, and center. And we didn't know what to do. But when we call on the name of Jesus, amen, he came to our rescue. Praise the name of Jesus. That's what the songwriter said, when I call on God, he will come to my rescue. He'll be there, anywhere, anytime. Amen, we can call upon him at any time. Amen, we, we, some of us who are parents with your ch children sometimes want to call upon you. Amen, they want to call your phone, but you might be at work or you can't attend to the phone call. Amen. But there might be someone that, that you cannot get to because of maybe the type of work you do. But we have a father. Amen. That no matter what situation. Amen. He's never too busy to hear. He's never too busy to answer. Amen. Because you can depend upon him. And we thank him tonight. Amen. And we're going to go into some series of testimony. Amen. And we're going to ask anyone that's led to come and leave the testimony. Please come right now and leave the testimony. We're going to go into some series of testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Fast and never let go No matter what the people of the world may say Hold fast and never let go
for another grip. Bless the name of Jesus. Right now, testimony service is open. Please stand and talk about the goodness of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God.
God. We're testifying of the goodness of God. Praise God. Please keep it hot, short and spicy in Jesus' name. Praise Him.
I was standing here today because I took some to march on to his house. And I ran him to find out where he is. And he said, I've just reached London. And he said, I'm just so glad I was asking for you. And I went home and I couldn't stop. I was turning and I was tossing. Praise God. I'm a pastor. And I said, You're busy. And he says, Listen, I was meant to go and I forgot. And by God's mercy, you are here. Praise God. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.
pray. Praise the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood. Praise the name of Jesus. We're here to just lift up the name of Jesus. We're just here that the Lord God will be exalted in Jesus' name. Please testify in Jesus' name. Praise Him. Praise God. Praise Him. Amen. Praise Him. Praise God. Praise Him. Yes.
to be. And after that church, the afternoon, I went to the hospital. But I trusted God. And a few weeks, I went to the back of the car, and the friend said, you've got to be a host. And there is no way you can be alive with this kind of car. My car was mashed, did it mash. The ear bar didn't come out. But I thank God that when I was a first, I got Jesus on my mind. And trust God. At this moment, we respect that back to Brother Dave in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise him. I thank him for joy and peace divine. Oh, yeah.
Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, praise the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, giving God thanks for all the wonderful testimony, amen, testimony by our testimony, we overcome, amen, because when I've gone through something and I've testified, God has delivered me, they give our brothers and our sisters courage, praise the name of Jesus, that if they face the same test and same trial, the same way God brought us out, he can bring you out. Praise the Lord Jesus. We thank God. Amen. For saving our soul. Amen. And we just come tonight. Amen. As a body of Christ. Just exalt his name. Amen. We come tonight as a body of Christ. Just to lift him up. Amen. Because he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. I give God thanks for all his children that he has brought in his house tonight. Amen. All the apostles, all the doctors, all the bishops. All the saints of God. Amen. We give God thanks for bringing everyone here tonight. Amen. And let us as we come bridging. Amen. Let us unite our hearts together. Amen. Let us fix our mind. Let us fix our hearts upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I can do nothing. I'm just a vessel standing, hoping and praying that he's used me for his service. But he's the one that deserves all the glory. He's the one that deserves all the praise. He deserves all the honor. Amen. Because he's worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He alone is worthy. Bless the name of Jesus. And his name is going to be glorified tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kids through Mother Douglas. Speaking to the saints. I greet you with the love of Christ. You know, this morning for my devotion, I was reading 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And in the 18th chapter... If you look at Josaphat, there were three armies coming at Josaphat. And the Bible said he feared. But you know the Lord told him, be not afraid for this battle is not yours. It's the Lord. But you know in the 18th verse, it says that when they begin to sing, when they begin to worship, then the Lord confused all the enemy. There were two going against each other. And there the other one kill off the other one. So, bridging tonight as we come to worship God. Yes, Our worship is not norm. Our worship is not norm. Our worship can confuse whatever is going on in our lives. Our worship can tear down mountains. Our worship can break stronghold. And tonight, I give you the praise, God. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. I worship you, God. I honor you, Jesus, for you are worthy. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All the saints and angels bow before your throne all the elders cast their crown before the lamb of god and sing you're worthy of it all you're worthy of it all for from you are all
the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. He's worthy of it all. He's worthy of it all. Amen. The, the, all the angels cry, holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. Amen. They deserve all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Amen. Now when, when he was walking through and the people, they, they cut down the palm trees. Amen. And they spread it out. And it was crying holy. Amen. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. He's always victorious. Always watching over us. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. We give God thanks. We give God thanks to all the brethren. Amen. Who have come tonight just to worship with us. Amen. And if your assembly has got a song that they would like to render, you can send it up. And if it's the Lord will, we'll sing it. You can sing in Jesus' name. If your assembly got a song that they would like to sing, please send it up in Jesus' name. And we give God thanks. And right now the rising star is going to render a song unto the church. Rising star in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Giving God thanks to the rising star, that wonderful song. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. He is alone is worthy of all the praise. Amen. And they tell us that we should praise ye the Lord. Amen. No matter what situation. Amen. No matter what situation. If you praise the Lord while you're going through your storm, you will get deliverance. If you praise the Lord while you're going through your sickness, you will get your healing. If you worship the Lord while you're going through your hardship, God will break the prison bars. Why? Because there's deliverance in praise. There's deliverance when you worship the Lord. There's healing when you worship the Lord. There's satisfaction when you worship the Lord. So my encouragement to you, my brethren, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Because he alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. Amen. I'm just going to introduce, amen, all our saints that are with us tonight. Amen. When I call your name, please stand at the saints. I acknowledge you. Amen. In Jesus' name, we give God thanks to our Bishop Shirley and the saints that come along. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. For all the saints that come with Bishop Shirley, please stand at the church. I acknowledge you. In Jesus' name. Praise the name of Jesus. We give God thanks to you. Praise the Lord Jesus. We got Sister Jean from Jamaica. Bless the Lord. We give God thanks to you. Praise the Lord Jesus. We got Bula Apostolic and the brethren. Can you please stand with my knowledge? We give God thanks to you. Bula Apostolic. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. Amen. We give God thanks to our Dr. Parks and the saints. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. Amen. We give God thanks to Brother Denny from Bradford and Sister Sarah from Bradford. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We give God thanks to you. Praise the Lord. We got um, Dr. Corinne Duncans. Dr. Corinne Duncans. Bless the Lord. We give God thanks to you. Praise the Lord. And we got Refuge Temple from Refuge Temple in New York. Bless you, man. Bless you. Bless you. We give God thanks to you. We got a missionary Joanna Smith. From Bethel, born again, Apostolic Church of Jesus Christ in Jamaica. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. We got, um, is there any ministers um, that have named that I've missed? Any ministers? Please stand. Amen. Any pastors that I've missed? Some of your names are on the list. Pastor Sims. Pastor Sims, God bless you, sir. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We give God thanks to our Mother Lake. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We give God thanks. Amen for you. Give God thanks to Mother Mackenzie. Praise the name of Jesus. The Elder Mackenzie, we give God thanks to you. Praise, Praise the Lord. We give God thanks to our own Minister Miller. Praise, Praise the Lord. We give God thanks to our own Minister Pike. Praise, Praise the Lord. We give God thanks to our own Evangelist Johnson. Praise Amen. Evangelist Campbell. Praise Amen. Evangelist Pike. Praise Evangelist Cameron. Praise the Lord Jesus. We give God thanks to all the children. Evangelist Dixon, God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. We give God thanks to all the children of the Lord. All the children of the Lord, we give God thanks. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. Praise the name of Jesus. We bless you. We bless the Lord tonight. Amen for each and every one. And we give God thanks to our brother Michael. Amen from brother Michael. We give God thanks to you. Amen in Jesus' name of the saints. Amen. We give, God, God, give God thanks to our own brother Stephen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus, praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. We don't know if our brother Stephen will have a song that we would like to render to the Lord. Brother Stephen? Later. <laughs> okay. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. Amen. As we said, we're coming tonight just to exalt his wonderful name. Amen. Just to magnify his holy name because he alone is worthy of all the praise. Amen. It's our, our eight night in our holy convocation. Amen. We started from, we was been here from last week, Saturday. Some of the virgins been here from last week, Friday. Amen, man. We give God thanks that he has kept us so far. Amen. We're still looking for an outpouring of the Holy Ghost upon our soul. Amen. We're coming tonight looking for a double portion of blessing from the Lord. Amen. But if we set up the praises, if individually we set up true worship from our hearts, and if everyone is setting up worship, and all that worship go up to God as a sweet smelling savior. He will pour down the blessing upon us tonight. Amen. And that is what we're looking for. Amen. That his name will be exalted 
first and foremost, that his name will be honored, his name will be magnified, that he can get the glory and the praise tonight. Amen. And right now, the choir, amen, is going to render a song. The choir is going to render a song in Jesus' name. The choir, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord church. Praise Please pray for us while we sing. When on the cross of Calvary, the Lord was crucified. The mob stood round about him and they mocked him on
bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give you God thanks to the choir. Amen. That wonderful song. Will the Lord remember me? Amen. That's why we are striving every day. Amen. And that's why we're living the life that we're living. Amen. That when we part this land, amen, when we part this mortal body, that at the end of our journey, amen, we can hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Welcome into my rest. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I can encourage anybody, any, any sinner, any backslider, amen, turn to Jesus. Amen. Because he's coming again. Amen. Right now we have the chance and we have the opportunity to make our wrongs right. Amen. His mercy and is still open for us right now while we are still breathing the breath of life. But when he returns again, amen, he's not coming back as a merciful God, but he's coming back as a frowning judge. Amen. So now is the acceptable time to be saved. Amen. Now is the time to turn unto the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. And amen. When I was introducing, I missed some of the brethren. Amen. So when I call you, please stand. We have some saints from Apostle Mullins Church. Amen. We have some brethren from Apostle Mullins Church. Please stand in Jesus' name. Amen. We give God thanks to you. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Amen. We give God thanks to you. We also have um, some brethren from Pastor Benjamin Church. Bless the name of Jesus. Brethren from Pastor Benjamin. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God thanks to you. Amen. We also have brethren from Bethel in Birmingham, along with that came along with Pastor um, Dr. Box. We give God thanks to the brethren. Amen. That came from Birmingham. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And if you didn't hear earlier on when I said that, if any one of the saints that came along in the church, that came along, if you have a song that you like to sing, please write a note and send it up. And if it was Lord, we will call you to sing. worship and to praise God because he has kept us throughout all, throughout the year you know he didn't have to so many people died even with this COVID so many people died so many is in the hospital so many can't even help themselves right now so many can't breathe so many so many on the machine at this moment you know but we are in the house of the Lord and we are here just to worship the Lord we are just here to give him thanks we are here to exalt his name because the same writer was saying he didn't have to make us live. But truly tonight, we are living, we are breathing, we can move, we can worship, we can praise him. So just lift up holy hands tonight and give him the glory in Jesus' name. Jesus brought me out. Jesus brought me out. Jesus brought me out. All right, all right. Jesus brought me out.
Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Bless the Lord, bless the Lord! We come to glorify His name! We come to glorify His name! We come to glorify His name! Bless the name of Jesus! Jesus brought us out all right! He has brought us out all right! He has brought us out all right! He has brought us out of darkness! Out of tribulation! Out of the prison! He has brought us out all right. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise him, praise him. Bless the name of Jesus. Just offer up your praise. Just offer up your praise. Just offer up your praise. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise him, praise him. Jesus brought me out all right. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. Jesus brought me out all right. And tonight I'm truly giving God thanks. You know, this week I sat down and I was just thinking and I was just giving God thanks. Last year, this time, brethren, I was in convocation. I had a dislocated knee. I could hardly walk. I was in so much pain. But tonight, I am giving God thanks. I'm giving God thanks for his mercy, for his love, for his compassion. I'm giving God thanks that we're still in his house, that we still have a mind to worship him, that we still have a mind to give him God thanks. And I'm telling somebody tonight, forget about where you are. Forget Come in. 
Press along, saints. Press along, saints. Press along. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Lord. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise him, praise him. No word, no Lord. Praise him. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise him. We are fighting a spiritual fight. Amen. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. Amen. But principalities and powers in high places. Amen. And if we keep on pressing through our fight, why are we are pressing? Because we know there's a better is on before. Praise the name of Jesus. We know we're working for a crown of life eternal. Amen. We're working. Amen. To walk on the street of gold. We are working, we are pressing to see the face of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Are we realizing our Christian warfare? Amen. In our Christian walking, that when some temptation, amen, and some tests come our way, and God give us the strength and the grace to overcome that, you see how happy you feel inside. When we fault and we sin and we fail, we see how broken and destroyed we feel. Amen. Watch this. That's why we are pressing on. That's why we are looking on. Amen. Because we know that we are better awaiting us. We got a home prepared for us. Whose builder and maker is God. Amen. We got a home prepared for us. Amen. Where the foundation was laid by Jesus Christ. Amen. And we give God thanks. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. Saints of God, keep holding on. Saints of God, keep holding on. Keep fighting on. Keep pressing on. Keep pushing on. Because better is our Pastor and all the ministers and the Holy Spirit and everyone in the name of Jesus. I'm just going to sing a song a cappella. Um, uh, it's the, the, the Lord is my shepherd. Because the Lord is my shepherd. We have everything we need. He lets us rest in the meadow's grass. And he leads us beside the quiet stream. He restores our fear in hell. And he honors him too. He does what honors him the most. That's why we're safe. That's why we're safe. That's why we're safe. Safe in his arms. When the storms, when the
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give God thanks this is a great show. Amen. A wonderful song. Amen. Reminding us that we are safe. We are safe no matter what storms of life are raging. Amen. If we have that faith and confidence. Amen. And that belief that we serve our risen Savior. That our Father is all powerful. That he's almighty. Amen. We shall be rest in his arms. We shall find rest in him. Praise the name of Jesus. We are saved. That we are safe in his arms. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're gonna um, just ask a short word of greeting from our um, Pastor Sims. A short greeting to the church from Pastor Sims in Jesus' name. Amen. We're safe in his arms. I'm gonna stay right under the blood.
Come on, somebody praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me first give honor to the spirit of the living God, which is rich among us in this place. Let me honor the woman of God, our Pastor Douglas, all of the other ministers, bishops, saints, everyone. Let me greet you in the name of Jesus. Let me greet you in the name of Jesus. Let me greet you in the name of Jesus. I am so glad that I'm saved. I am so glad that I can be found in the house of God one more time. It's been a year since I've been here. And so much has happened in that year. But I thank God for grace and for mercy. I was sitting there and I was thinking, over the past couple of months, I have lost two friends, two musicians. One musician was an actor. Both were younger than myself. And they have gone and left this side of life. Left their family, left their wives, left their friends, and are here no more. And I was sitting there and I said, every time I get the chance to praise him, I must praise him. I have a duty to praise him. I have a right to praise him. I, I don't need a, a praise team. I don't need a choir. I don't need no musicians. All I need to do is to have a memory. I, I've grown in church. I know church. And there's a whole lot of new things that have come on in now. Some we really have to raise our eyebrows and really look at. But growing up in church, I was always taught that you never tell anybody to say hallelujah. Now if you want to do that, that's quite all right with you. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I was taught that a hallelujah praise comes from deep down from the depths of your soul. For you. My sister spoke about the dislocated uh, uh, knee. I, I have what you call a slip disc in the back. And the nerve, and it's resting on the nerve. But I decided that it's not going to stop me from giving God praise. If the back is hurting, my hands can go up. If my hands can't go up, my feet can stop. But when I think, one last thought, and I must take my seat. Paul and Silas was in prison. And when they were in prison, they're in a prison. And what happened? They began to praise God until the foundations were shaken. And not only were they free, but it freed everybody around them. If we can just praise God, if we can just praise God, 
saints shall be free. God bless you in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. And we can pass the sins in Jesus' name. And then we're gonna have a, we're gonna share tonight because we have some pastors and bishop. So we're gonna share, amen, in Jesus. And we're gonna ask Dr. Kareem Duncan from Refuge in New York. Just come and greet the church, ma'am, in Jesus' name. Dr. Kareem, should please keep it short. We're gonna share tonight in Jesus' name. Because some of the brethren's got hundreds of miles to go in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Jesus, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I truly honor the presence of the Lord tonight in this house. I really want to give God thanks for an opportunity. I'm humbled to be in this house of worship. We've watched you on the television in Jamaica. We've watched you in New York. And so it's a pleasure, it's a delight just to be here. I want to bring you greetings from my pastor, Bishop Derek Smith and the Saints from Refuge Temple Ministries, 679 Remsen Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. To your wonderful pastor, to all the officers of the church, to this, this, this wonderful group of children, God bless you. Tis so sweet to trust in. Jesus, just to take his word, trust, to trust in him safely, healing stream and water flow. That's our version. What do we say? Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. How I. Help me somebody. How I. Missionary Joanna Smith to the church, a short greetings. 
to the church missionary Joanna come right now with the church in Jesus name praise the Lord Jesus oh for grace and trust him all short greetings in Jesus name Hallelujah to God, to all the Rostrum Associates, beautiful choir visiting friends. Hallelujah to God, I bring you greeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Extending greetings to this wonderful house of worship for my pastor. Hallelujah to God, Pastor Ivan Codner and Saints, all the way from Bethel, born again, Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic in Oakland Road. Hallelujah to God, Jamaica. Thank you, Jesus. We extend greetings to this holy convocation. Hallelujah to God. It is a pleasure and a privilege to be in this house of God tonight. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to encourage you, saints. Hallelujah to God. More you trust God, the more you trust him. Oh, for grace, hallelujah, to trust him more. Just stay flat-footed for Jesus. Just stand upon his word. Just stand and rest in the promises of God, and he will take you through. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Going to have a greeting from Sister Jean from Jamaica. Sister Jean from Jamaica. Come and greet the church right now in Jesus' name. Sister Jean. Praise the Lord. Is there a Sister Jean? She's around the back. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. We give God thanks. Oh, come and greet the church, ma'am. Praise him. Short greetings in Jesus' name. Lord is worthy to be praised. I'm so happy to be here another night. No pain, no strain, nothing could stop me from coming here today. So tonight I'm here to give God the glory, to lift him up, and to magnify his wonderful name. I heard that Elder said he had that back problem. I had it five years ago. But my God was so good to me. I didn't have to have a open back surgery. I went to the labor signing to do that. They did my little cut. Three weeks after that, I was on a plane here. And I'm here today. Tonight, let's give God the glory. Amen. He's worthy. He's a healer. Anything you need, just say Jesus. And to the unsaved folks, anything you need tonight, right here. Amen. Just give it over to Jesus. And you shall smile, laugh like me, the rest of your day. Amen. Pastor Douglas, my adopted mother, I have a dog. You have no kids, so there's no auntie, no uncle. So, she is now my adopted mother. As long as I can come, I'm here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. Amen. Give God thanks, sisters. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we're going to sing a live chorus and collect our night offering in Jesus' name. Can you a night offering in Jesus' name? What a wonderful freedom. Glory to His name.
freedom. Praise the name of Jesus. He has delivered us. He has set us free. Praise the name of Jesus. The devil had us bound, but Jesus set us free. And tonight we have liberty to exalt his wonderful name. Just to magnify his name. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God for our redemption. When he redeemed us back to himself. And then when he came and he bled and he died. Amen. And he paid the ultimate sacrifice that you and I can be free tonight. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Right, I'm going to ask the church to stand. Praise the Lord. That's the church to stand right now. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I'll start being one of pastor. And come to the church of the Lord and leader. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's like good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we have pig back home. Dr. Parks, praise the Lord. And Bishop Shirley. And our dear pastor. And all the household of faith. And everyone, you don't visit. You come to church. Amen. If I go to any church and visit, I don't go back. I can baptize in Jesus' name. And even if I'm a sinner and I go to church and come tell me, me visit. If I want to visit, I go to them house. I don't visit. I go to church. You understand me? You know, I don't know bandage in here. Praise God. You didn't come to us, you come to worship Almighty God. And I know when you say I'm out of the bondage, I'm into the freedom. Praise God. I remember we have hug. You call it pig. We have hug back home. We have hug. My daddy have hug. We have fowl, not chicken. The fowl have chicken. So we have hug. We have fowl. We have, and we have wood. Remember? And donkey and cow, we have them. But the hag is something else. The hag always goes down to Mass Nal when we need no Mass. Mass Nal, please. When you let go the hag, it won't root out Mass Nal peas and root out and give problem. You know that, Bishop? The hag. So what we do? We tie up the hag. That it don't go and make damage to cause my father a problem. For sometimes you have to pay back for the peace. Yeah. When they have root out this and this. Now, when the peace are right, you can let go the hug. It come out of the bandage. Yeah. So it's free now. Yeah. You get me? When you are sinning, and he did that cry and said to your friend, your conscience, no. You're not under no bandage. Amen. When my daddy let go the hug, take off the, the tie, and let go the hug, the hug lift up the tail. And he run right through the cane piece. And let go. You see what I'm saying? Freedom. Freedom. You're free. You're everything free. Let the foe. Eating off marshmallow peas yeah. as they blossom the food. Yeah. And before them make scar meal with salt and kill out the food then. We tie up the food. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, we know about country we come from, you know, things. I know about things. And who know that no? Then going to make caramel holy for salt, so the fall went to drink a lot of water and the, the crowd burst. So we tie it that it no cause no problem and they no kill out the fowl. So when the peas come in, we let go the fowl and the fowl stand up, sir. No, no, no freedom. The mind. When your mind tells you something and you're fixed, not even God can help you. You see what I'm saying? You don't even know God set you free. And some singing wild because they're still bound. That's why I don't talk, you know. 
because you can't bow. You show you in a, you don't even know, some don't even know what freedom means. But they still had the malice there. They still jealous. They still have a bad spirit. They still will cuss if you don't make you. And they say they're free. They can do a lot of wickedness. And they're free, still doing everything like Satan children. I'm baptized. They don't know, their mind don't free. You know that? Their mind don't free. And that's why sometimes they're so heavy. They can't move. And so moving because of the music. Help me, Jesus. But the Holy Ghost not moving in them. Because they don't know that they're free from that. So they shouldn't mix in that anymore. When you are set free, you're free from bondage. I hope Almighty God give us a knowledge of what we're singing. Yes. If you have anything in your country to God, law, and you don't get rid of it, you're not free. Yes. Sing with understanding, you know, sing and jump and kick. Think. If judgment come now, would you be ready? We're not showing you and you're showing us, brethren. We're not, not sure. We're not, we're not, we're not in cinema. We're not, I don't know for you, but I'm not a show, I'm not cinema. Amen. We're not in concert, so you put you down and you hide. We are in the prison. Remember, if you're free, indeed, the word of God said, whom oh God, God Almighty said free. You know why? Because he put it in my heart. So I must have a conscience to know when I'm not free. And I don't sing it if I'm not. Whom the son set free, in, not only free, but free indeed. For the always, the old things gone, and, and, and you are free because Jesus set you free. We're going to hear from Bishop Shirley. And after that, Dr. Parks. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Bishop Shirley is from way back in the 70s. I am Bishop Douglas Brother Sam and Sister Elaine. We visit Birmingham, remember? Until he become Pastor Douglas. My, my husband died. We used to go to Bishop Surly, that your father. Your father was the And he's a young one. But we come to your house. But we come in from London. We go to his house. There we stay until we come back to London. Well taken care of, he and his wife. God bless you. Praise the Lord. One more time. I was here last week. I didn't really know that I would be back so quick. But of course, our evangelist, Lawrence, and Mr. Park and others said that they would like to come. But at least, so we said, okay, let's, let's go to the house to worship God. We give God thanks tonight that we are in the house of God. And of course, as our pastor said, we are not here visiting, we come to worship. Praise the Lord. Let me sing this refrain and take my seat. Somebody said, are you going to preach tonight? I says, no. Praise God. Praise God. The world was this way. For I came along. And it may not get better. By the time that I am gone. But if I could only talk of what we are passing through, it makes me happy just to sing out loud. For I love you, Jesus, and I love your name.
Dr. Parks is coming. I know Dr. Parks before him bound. He don't know this, but I know Dr. Parks before him bound. <laughs> I know his grandmother, his grandfather, his mom, his auntie and me go to the same school. His mom was a monitor there. His mom very bright. And the, the clerk's clerk. His clerk's in it. Not Park. He park come from it to you. Very bright. The very, very bright. And I know his dad, the Park. I know him. So you're welcome every time and any time. Amen. Amen. And since I came in this country, we met in Birmingham, and he's a blessing. God bless you. Though the battle may be hard, and the conflict so, go back in the road. to the Spirit of God, I greet Pastor Mother Douglas, praise God and all the ministers and officers and bishops and saints and everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank God for the opportunity just to be here tonight, uh, we're coming out of one convocation and I, I, I knew I was supposed to be somewhere today, <laughs> but I uh, I got carried away doing something and then Deacon Shirley called me and said his dad spoke to him and asked if we're coming. I said yes. He, he didn't expect me to say yes but as soon as he mentioned Hackney I said yes I'm coming. Praise the Lord. Because it's been a long time since I've been here. But I thank God for mercy tonight. Yeah. 
Praise God. Anybody else thank God for mercy in here? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Somebody says, by his mercies, we are not consumed. Praise Jesus. And as I look around and see the people of God worshipping, my soul get happy tonight. Praise the Lord. You have something, Hackney. You have a spirit of worship. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ in here. And God expect us when we come to worship. Pastor Sim said it earlier. Praise God. Your scripture, I your scripture kind of um, touched me. Romans 12, 1. Can you put that up? Is that possible? Praise God. Are we here? Can you put it on the screen? Oh, okay. God bless you. Thank you. Paul said to the Romans, I beseech you, therefore, I beg you, I am pleading with you. Praise God. He said, by the mercies of God that you present your bodies. Hold on, let's go back, let's go back. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, not as a judge and jury. I'm not coming to judge nobody. Praise God. We're not criticizing anybody. But what he's saying, I am standing on the mercies of God. And by the mercies of God, I am pleading with you to present yourself. Oh, somebody praise God. I'm saying, present yourself. Some people are discouraged, but find your way to church somewhere. And present yourself. Oh, somebody praise God. I, I know what I'm talking about, saints, because... We, we just come through two years of pandemic, what they call it? Plandemic, scamdemic, pretendemic, whatever demic it was, we come through two years of it. And God has kept us. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. But you know something? This corona thing exposed a lot of people. Some people say they love God. But they did not love him enough to present themselves. They forgot that God is a healer. Come on, church. They forgot that God is a deliverer. They forgot that God is a savior. They forgot that God is still a miracle worker. Come on, church. Present yourself before God. <laughs> hold on, hold on here. I know what I'm saying. I, I, as a job, I, I teach people to drive. Which means I'm in the car with somebody every day. Different people every day. And God has kept me. Through this two year, whatever it was, I have not no injection. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. I believe Jesus more than vaccine. Somebody better praise God in here. I'm with a different spirit every day. But God has kept me. Amen. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. So when I'm saying present yourself, I know exactly what I'm talking about. If God has kept you today, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. 
So people are looking for all kind of remedy. There's only one remedy. His name is Jesus. Let's look at it again. I therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, I beseech you that you present your bodies. How? Don't just come before God anyhow. God don't just want us to come any and anyhow. The word of God says a living. Come on. You sure? Not dead sacrifice? Living sacrifice. If you're alive, make some noise, somebody. Somebody praise the God. Hold, hold on, wait here. He didn't say present a living sacrifice. He says present yourself. You're the sacrifice. Thank you. Praise the name of Jesus. A lot of people are ready to talk about sacrifice until it's their turn to be the sacrifice. But the word of God says they present yourself. As a living sacrifice. And everybody want revival. But revival can only come through sacrifice. Somebody got to make sacrifice. Somebody got to do without. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. But I'm thanking God today and I'm on, I'm the, I'm on the right ground. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm in a place of worship. Where the people of God reach out and touch the Lord. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy. Somebody cry holy today. Holy, holy means. Hallelujah. That it's set apart. Hallelujah. We're not in any mix up business. Good job. Go God on. don't want you mix up. We're not blended. Oh, somebody praise God. Everything is up in there. Hallelujah. Help me. He wants us separate. Yes. I wonder, I wonder if we know what the church, Hallelujah. the yes. word church means. He separates. They call us ecclesia. Jesus. Which means we've been called out. Yeah. Yes. The word of God said, come out from among them. And be separate. And be separate. From and sin. touch not. The sin. unclean things. Sin. Amen. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Amen. If they've been called out, somebody yeah. shout hallelujah. Yeah. Help me, Jesus. If you're called out, it means you're not the same. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Amen. God, oh. In this, I call it the 21st century church. Yeah. A lot of people are trying to say, I'm in church. Hey. But they want to do every ungodly thing and still come in church. Yeah. That is not the church. Yeah. I'm glad Mother Douglas know my roots. God bless. So she know where I'm coming from. Yes. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not into any modern day church. No. I'm in the old time fashion church. Amen. Amen. The church amen. that knew Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus Christ. We're not talking about the church. No, not the building. That preach any message to make you feel good. I, 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 you know, we want keep, the church keep you in that the preach to get you saved. You go ahead, preach. Somebody amen. praise Jesus here. Amen, amen, amen. Present your bodies. Living sacrifice. God of Jesus. Holy. Acceptable to God. Not acceptable to man. To God. But acceptable to God. God Jesus. If it, I'm glad it's not acceptable to man. Because anything goes today. Some people are confused. I tell you. They don't know who they are. Some don't know what they are. Amen. You can be a man today. But next week if you feel, get up and feel like Lord, you're a woman, you can be a woman. And in church. I say. And in church. Church, church as well. My goodness. Right, left, man, in stuff. But God, no wonder the Bible says there's going to be a recounting in Zion. Jesus. Let me say this. Oh, you might ban me. Body. But sodomite behavior will never be right. Remind me, Jesus. In 10 million years. God met man one way. And he hasn't changed his word. God met woman one way. And he hasn't changed his word. Amen. He said male and female. 
created he them. Amen. And it, it was so important. God performed the first marriage. He said he brought the woman to the man. That is Come right. On, somebody praise the name of Jesus. That is right. Jesus That's came right. in the New Testament and repeated it. You go ahead. The, sure. the, so, so I don't care what man come with. Yes. The word of God still stands. Amen. Because the Bible says he is immutable. Amen. He changes not. Yes. His word doesn't change. Amen. My Bible told me that Jesus Christ, the yes. same today, yes. yesterday, yes. and forevermore. Amen. His word hasn't changed. No. Only man changes. Yes. But I urge you today, stand fast. Pray. In the liberty, cry. where is Christ? Made you has free. made you free, and be not, and be not entangled again in the yoke. with the yoke of bondage. Amen. If you're free, shout hallelujah in Jesus' name. Yes. Help me right now. Teach him now. The devil is a liar. In that. T touch somebody and tell them the devil is a liar. Oh, somebody praise. I'm living proof. Because the devil didn't want me to get this far, but God brought me over. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. God did not want you to get this far, but God brought you over. Some of you sitting in here, you've been fighting all week. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. You didn't know you'd get here today, but God knew. Sometime when we get a test, we just have to believe that God is just standing by, watching you go through that test. Say, come on, my child, you can make it. Yeah. Tell somebody you can make it. You can make it. Come on, I don't care who you are. You can make it, man. You can make it. Don't let the devil play with your mind. You got the victory a long time ago. Because Jesus is a deliverer. Hallelujah. He delivered you before you got in trouble. Somebody praise the name of Jesus here. So the word of God said, present yourself. Living sacrifice. Holy. Acceptable not to man. Not to the pastor. Not to the bishop. Not to the minister. Not to the brother. Not to the sister. But acceptable to God. Which is what? Reasonable service. You sure? How come some people are trying to jump over everybody to get promotion? Reasonable service. You sure? Criticizing everybody to get to the top. Reasonable service. You sure? Complaining about how long they've been doing this and doing that and get no reward. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. I don't care what you do. How long you do it? God said reasonable service. Yes. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Let me, let me stop saying this. In Romans 8, it says that we have the earnest expectation of the creature. For the whole of creation cries out for deliverance. The redemption of this body. The point is, the earnest of our expectation means that God has given us the earnest. Any Holy Ghost feel believers in here? If you got the Holy Ghost, you have the earnest. Oh, so many praise the name of Jesus. Well, some people get carried away with the earnest. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. But earnest expectation is just the down payment. The rest is yet to come. Come on. If you're walking, what's your name please? Brother Dave went to the shop to buy a suit. Suit nice. But he didn't have all the money. So he paid the man a deposit. Come on, church. The deposit is an earnest. And said, I'm coming back to claim 
my property. Yes. Are we here? Are you here with me? Yes. What Jesus gave you in the Holy Ghost yes. is just a deposit. Yes. Usually, the deposit is only a small portion of the whole thing. Yes. So the bigger part is coming. Yes. Come on, church. Are you with me? Yes. How come some people get carried away with their little deposit? Holy Ghost. Come on, church. When the biggest part is yet to come. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. I've given you something. I've left you with the Holy Ghost. But I'm going away. I'm coming back to receive you to myself. Not where I am. There you may be also. And when I come back, I'm bringing the bigger portion. Come on, church. The best is yet to come. The bigger victory is yet to come. Keep on going. Keep on praising. Keep on worshiping. Yes, the days may be dark, but keep on pressing. Yes, it's a tough battle, but keep on going. Yes, the enemy is against you, but hold your head up. Step out in Jesus' name because the best is yet to come. We sing the song, better days are coming, by and by, when we reach that city in the sky, sorrow, I'm a friend of sorrow, but it will be over, joy will come at last, I tell you, better days are coming, better than this, no more criticism, no more heartache, no more wondering what to do. Because there's a better land in view. Somebody cry, Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord in the house. Better's coming. Better's coming. Better is coming. Tell somebody better. Better's coming. Better's coming. Cheer up. Cheer up. Keep holding on. Because better is coming. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let nobody tell you you can't make it. Don't let nobody tell you, you can't do it. Don't tell nobody tell you, you can't reach it. Because better days are coming. It's coming. And what God said, he will do. Praise God. That's why the songwriter sang the song. As I journey through the land. Singing. I wasn't depressed. I didn't feel good, but I was singing. As I go, pointing souls where? Calvary. To Calvary. Through what? Crimson flow. And while I was doing that, while I was pointing people to Calvary, many arrows was piercing my, my soul. Not my body, my soul. Sometimes we get hurt to the soul. We get cut to the soul. But my Lord, Leads me on. Through him, I will win. Then he said, oh, I want to see him. I'm going to make it. I'm going to look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory. I'm going to lift up. I said, I'm going to lift up. I said, I'm going to lift up my voice. Cares are past. I'll be saying, home at last. Home at last. Ever to rejoice. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul, from without within. But my Lord, from the head, to be my husband. Oh, my Lord, to see him, to come for this day.
our sorrows, there are takes, the pain, and all what you're going through in myself. Home at last. Better day. The word of God said just a glimpse of him in glory. We repay all the time that you've been through. All the heartaches and everything, just a glimpse. And you won't glimpse, it will rain with him. Is that right? Tonight is dead. Double Jesus. You better take him home, you know. Double Jesus. Anybody get the power of the Holy Ghost tonight, you get double Jesus. Double up, you get so much. And we are still waiting. Amen. We have this kind of noise and music and jump every time. Amen. We have this kind of jump and noise and carry on. This is different. Amen. One the nights and you shout. Yes, you can shout, but when you shout, make sure you get the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. While you're shouting and jumping, make sure inside that you're shouting and jumping. And those who are speaking tongues, make sure you're living right. Make sure there's a Holy Ghost. The Word of God said, Me can present you an interference and this and that. But He said, Me must present me body. Present yourself, the preacher was saying, and all the Bible. Present yourself fully. He said, present yourself as. Never say as. Ah, living sacrifice. The sacrifice that was presenting for the sin was those without blemish. No rope round neck, firstborn. Broke that they love that one. Proper love and they, uh, they have to offer the best the lamb that's why when jesus came he came as a bird out of a bird his father is the holy ghost amen so you see he was presented by the holy ghost somebody when you go home tonight think about you it's nice to jump and kick and feel nice you know? But you want to nice when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. And living according to God's law. You are presenting your body. The Bible says why? Your body is the temple of God. And people think it's only fornication. Anything you defile your mind is you defile your body. Your body, your eye, the nose, my mouth, my mind, everything make up belong to God. So when we leave from here, remember that you're going to present yourself fully acceptable to God. We're going to, we're going to stop here. Go on and think, are you ready? Is it coming that we just come together? I talk like this is not because you are here. I'm not talking you, I'm talking me and everybody. I didn't put that there. It was Minister Miller wanted Romans 11, that's it, and 12, so that's why. And this is what God is saying to us, through his word, through his preachers, and through his singing, and God is saying to all of us, let every man examine himself, because we're going to stand before God. We can say, judge you and you judge me, but God righteous judgment. And God said he put his law that's the problem, you know. When we go home, we go home with him. When we're on holiday, we're with God. Amen? No matter where we are, we go with the devil and God. Two of them. You never know. Are the two of them go with you? In your bed, is it two of them? When you crawl and go to bed, one of, is it two of them in there? <laughs> when you car and somebody you have God, and somebody can stop you for how you behave, is it two of you there? You never know. Well, you know now. You have two behavior. One godly and the one around to see it. The way you behave when somebody upset you is not God. You see now? So you have two. Although we say we bury the old man and his deed, it's not true. Not us. We bury and rise up to, to walk in new life. But every now and then the old man turn up. Hallelujah! And if we don't keep him under the blood, we are him going to hell. 
stand, let's do. We got to decipher our own self that we're not going there with him. And young men, the word of God said, call you why because you're strong. All men should know the way and be strong. The better day which is coming is not because the government gonna change. It's not the big job on the house. It's been eternal life you shall have. God bless you. I hope you come back and God bless you. You welcome those that visit here for the first time. Come again. I hope you enjoy God, especially the word. You will empanize and dancing and shout. After you go inside, that won't help you. <laughs> it's the word of God. That's why David couldn't sin. Because the word of God was in him. He said he can't do this wickedness. Because, because he was with the woman wanted to let him sin. And sometimes Satan hit us where we like it. But we have to say, I could not fall. How can I? Coming short of wickedness. Not against the man, but against God. Let God be in us. And who thinking, wash out your heart, who not fill with the Holy Ghost. How much time you gonna come and don't get the Holy Ghost? How much time? Think. Believe it for thinking. It's not that you jump and kick because people is here. Are you come to show we? And we don't have nothing to show you, you're not to show we. All of us belong to one father. All when you're not saved, we still be, we belong to the same father. Much less. So we have good courage, somebody. You have to show to make a holy for nice. Because there was people that were making a holy for nice when Jesus Christ and his servant hiding, having hiding. And God, him said, he look for nice out there. But him said, when him look out, God wasn't in it. I'm not saying God not in this one. But when God in a disguise, I will know. Because somebody will fail. I'm telling you. When God Almighty accept the Holy Panize in you, somebody gonna fill with the Holy Ghost. You see. Praise God. So that it got to be joyful and from the depth of our soul that God can say, well done. And see. He said, having this seed, the law, you don't marry until you sign that, that one, your destiny. And this one, he said, having this seed. Somebody asked me to sign, and he said, put your stamp on it. I have to seal it with the government. Hey, having this seed, the Lord knows that you belong to him. Because God got no seed. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we look to you right now. Because somebody can be filled right now. If the heart turned to you. The heart, Lord, the heart, the heart. Father God, you said the heart thirsted. After the water brooks, David said, so is heart. Panted after you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they think. And they will turn the heart, the mind, the soul. The body presentable to you. Father God, for in olden days, you, you would not accept the sacrifice if it's not pure. Lord Jesus Christ. Father, even Abraham is first child. Father, you don't take second hand. I pray you turn our heart. Take our mind. Take our thought. Take our will. Sanctify the tongue and the eye and the feet and the mind. Let it be under control by your spirit that even in the bed, Lord God Almighty, Father, even when they drive him, even when they walk in, Lord, wherever that the power of God will come upon them and in them, Lord, that they'll be anointed by you, that you seal them. Your cry, O Lord, come with us, your people. In Jesus.